Hello in the game fans, once more onto the breach with the party based roguelite RPG Guardian Quest who has once again sponsored today's video. They have just dropped a big patch, changing some core mechanics like how the enemies leveled and scaled, adding unique condition dependent abilities for enemies, improved AI, reworked the talent upgrade system, improved the skill grid RPG portion, tweaked crafting, item socketing, runes and camping, so a significant one which lays the groundwork for what is to come. As part of the Steam Summer Sale, this game is 10% off, with the Act 2 content patch dropping at the end of next month, but it's already pretty good. It is once again time for the Steam Summer Sale, with a whole bunch of games on significant discounts, so let me be your guide in uncovering more of the unique and fantastic indie games. After shortlisting these games, I did realise that I subconsciously chose a number of games associated with flight, Probably an indication that I'm thinking of holidays which are not really possible right now, but the 10 indie games under $10 begins with House of the Dying Sun. This beautiful space action title has you in the cockpit of the most terrifying starfighter with a reputation for destroying the enemies of the Empire. Tight controls makes the execution of maneuvers feel really good, with it even having optional VR support but not too shabby visually for a 3 year old game. This one was a favourite of mine in 2018 since the hauntingly beautiful action game Luca Born of a Dream has you navigating a surreal nightmare where you must seek salvation. I love the art style which is very unique, almost like something drawn with chalk, and with the in-depth combat system that requires you to manage attack mantras, familiars, virtues and more, resulting in, I quote, beautiful violence. Jetstream will perhaps bring a tear to the eyes of people with Wanderlust, since at this point in time, who knows when we will be able to fly again. There might be some sharp turns here or there, nothing to worry about, just navigating some particularly nasty weather. A minimalist, chill puzzle game, navigate through the skies and hazards in order to get to the destination safely. Don't be alarmed if you notice something out of the ordinary or feel a little strange. It's just some minor turbulence. We'll have you safely at your destination sooner or later. And your next destination. And the one after that. Thank you for flying with Jetstream. Have a lovely flight. For something a little more classic in design, the arcade racer Horizon Chase Turbo is of interest, bringing back memories of arcades and games from the 90s. You know, games like Daytona, Top Gear, F-Zero and even a little bit of Road Rash. Quite a classic world tour concept as well, with 12 cups, 48 cities and 109 tracks, and in the years since launch, the developers have put out DLC, additional free events and more, which really does make it look like a labour of love. Mm -hmm. 
narrative games don't get much better than the Victorian gothic horror title Sunless Skies. Play as the captain of a ship, equipped to travel through space and get into adventures against pirates, Her Majesty's agents, and even cosmic horror monstrosities. While it is an RPG with action elements where there is space train combat, this can be quite text heavy but therein lies the beauty of this game with wonderful writing being the highlight. If you enjoy shoot'em ups and bullet hells, Blue Revolver is one to get due to the very classically designed levels, awesome pixel art and fantastic soundtrack. All the expected accessibility options like toggling hitboxes and colorblind modes are supported, but certainly one for fans of the genre. A rare early access title makes the list with the action roguelite Nova Drift. This is a single screen arena action game where enemies spawn in and your objective is simply to blow them up. However, what makes this very interesting is the synergies and the upgrade systems where there really are so many possible combinations. If you enjoyed Hades and liked the power of the dual wounds in that, then this game will hit those same areas of your brain. The awesome pixel art horror Pikmin title Sea Salt from 2019 was one that I think even more people should play since this has you controlling the forces of Dagon as it seeks his sacrifice and the local priest. The variety of the eldritch monsters to control is awesome, from sea slugs to swamp monsters, with challenging strategic boss fights and a fantastic pixel art style which I absolutely adore. The Behemoth is a now legendary indie developer who dates back to the early days of Newgrounds near the infancy of the internet, and what I love about them is the distinct art style and humour in their games, with the latest entry being Pit People, which somehow hasn't quite taken off in the same manner as their earlier games. This is a zany, turn-based tactics title that has elements of Pokemon, XCOM and Fire Emblem with a cast of weird and wonderful characters and units in this pseudo-mythology-inspired world. Wow. 
It is done pretty well by indie standards, but I don't really see people talking about this one, so if you have not, do give this a try. One of my personal favourite games is the hauntingly beautiful Far Lone Sales, where you control a single character in a side-scrolling, platforming kind of way, but need to push buttons and pull levers in order to operate the iconic vehicle of this game, a land-based vessel which can use the wind to propel itself forward. There are various puzzles to solve as you try to keep your vehicle moving from left to right, crossing a dried out seabed with the remnants of an ancient civilization scattered about. It's such a gorgeous game that manages to do so much with so little, taking the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.